check back in with meteorologist Casey Dorn for a look at our weather. Casey, how's it, how's it looking out there? Brett, it's a nice morning outside for us, which you wouldn't really, you wouldn't know. There's actually a cold front moving through the area right now from our sky cams. Clear skies across the entirety of southern Colorado, a few high clouds up over the mountains, and we're going to remain mild and comfortable for the first half of our day. Some clouds are going to increase mainly over the mountains as we head into your afternoon with an isolated chance for a mountain shower. It's really going to be this evening that we start to see some bigger scale changes with more moisture moving in, potentially an isolated stronger storm on the eastern plains. So let's talk about this cold front. This is unusually strong for this time of the year. It's going to cool our highs today by 10 to 15 degrees as it continues to swing south through the area this morning. Out the door, we're at 58 in the Springs, 66 in Pueblo, 51 right now in Woodland Park, 64 Canyon City. Eastern Plains, you have yet to see the cold front swinging through, so upper 60s to mid 70s still at this hour for you. Now, because we've got a mixed bag of weather today, you will need a mixed bag of things going out the door. You'll need the sunglasses for the first half of the day. I would pack the umbrella for the second half of your day in the afternoon, but you can leave the rain jacket at home. Any showers or storms we see today are gonna be weak and isolated as well as short lasting. Now this cold front isn't going to bring in that much more moisture for us. This low pressure system over the Gulf of Mexico will. This is potential tropical cyclone one. If it does consolidate, it will become tropical storm Alberto, which is the which would be the first storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Now taking a look here at Futurecast noon today. I'm thinking we're going to be mainly clear to partly cloudy, more clouds up over the mountains and between noon and 5 p.m. A few weak isolated showers over the Palmer Divide and in Teller County, a couple more than you're seeing here, but still very isolated in coverage. As so we head toward the later part of the evening commute and particularly after the end of the evening commute and into the overnight, that's when the Gulf moisture starts to surge in. We have chances for a couple of stronger storms on the southeastern plains. Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk for severe weather this afternoon and evening for uh, Baca County, Eastern Los Animas County, Kiowa County, and the other counties along the Colorado Kansas border. Now, thanks to the cold front, today will be seasonable for our high temperatures 81 in the Springs, 88 in Pueblo, 73 Woodland Park, and 86 40 this afternoon in Canyon City. Now, as we look ahead, that moisture really starts to increase for us tomorrow. So we'll have chances for showers in the morning, storms in the afternoon, and much cooler on Wednesday, starting to warm up towards the end of the week with continued shower and storm chances. By the time we hit the weekend, we're going to start to tamp down those storm chances as high pressure moves back in. Only a 20% chance for a shower or storm on Saturday and getting back to the land of heat by Monday with temperatures back in the 90s. Pueblo, you'll also be down in the 70s tomorrow. You'll keep the shower and storm chances for your afternoons through Friday. Weak chance on Saturday, but certainly not enough to put the icon on there. You will notice the heat moving back in as we head into your weekend. Canyon City, you'll have chances for those showers and storms starting tomorrow, lasting through Saturday during the afternoon each day. Weak chance later today, but generally you're just going to see the skies looking threatening. Then as we head towards the end of the weekend into next week, high pressure moves back in, drying you out. Woodland Park, you'll have chances for those showers and storms starting today. They'll last all the way through Sunday. Wednesday is the only day right now that looks to have both morning and evening storm chances for you.